Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Moose and this is Moose Henderson Wildlife Photography. Today we're going to take a look at taking a snapshot or creating an image. One of the YouTubers I watch named Thomas Heaton is a quite well-known and accomplished landscape photographer and on a couple of occasions he has stated something to the effect of there is always an image, a good image to be taken in most any scene. You just need to spend the time and either wait for the light or compose the appropriate image out of the scene in front of you. Well, today we're going to take a look at a scene that was in front of me. And I wasn't the only one that stopped at this scene while I was here taking pictures. There was at least 25 cars that stopped, and usually one or two people would jump out of the car, jump up, take a picture from the bottom of the hill, looking up the hill, get back in their car, and zoom off down the highway. And what do I mean by up the hill? Well, this is a scene that we're faced with. This is somewhat of a gentle incline. I would say it's probably a 20 to 25 degree slope. And you can see on the slope is a few a bighorn sheep, some rams, and there's also a ewe up a little higher up on the hill. And like I say, quite a few people came up to this scene, jumped up, and took a picture. And I would imagine the picture they took looked something like this, because I also took a picture from the bottom of the hill of one of the rams. Or maybe they took a picture of one of the ewes if they had a telephoto lens, and it might have looked something like this. So sometimes when you talk to photographers, you'll hear them say, I'm going to create an image instead of take an image. Because a lot of times that's what's involved. You're having to really study a scene in order to be able to pick out the best background, the best foreground, the type of head tilt you want, and various things like that. So in this video, you're going to get to go into the mind of a photographer. Now, my friend Carol would say that my mind is a very dangerous place, and I would never belong there by myself. So I'll warn you up front, this might be a little scary going into my head. But we're going to kind of analyze this scene piece by piece and then show you what I did to come up with an image that I considered acceptable. Okay, so from the roadside, we can look up on this hill, and we see three male bighorn sheep. And up farther on the hill, on that green portion, the portion that's a little bit greener, we see a female bighorn sheep. Now, of course, the males are rams, and the females are ewes. And you've already seen from a couple of the pictures I've shown that Taking a picture from the bottom of the hill is a bit boring because the background is nothing but grass. Also, the light is not so great. You can see in this picture the light is pretty nice down at the very bottom of the hill. But where the bighorn sheep are, it's kind of in shadow because, uh, well, honestly, it is in shadow. The light is coming from just behind a hillside that is over behind the back end of those sheep. So as the light begins to creep around, it's going to start to light up those sheep. And I kind of look up there and I see that and I go, well, I want to be on the same level as those sheep. Not at the bottom of the hill, but on the side of the hill, kind of where that tree you see on the left-hand side that is lying down on its side. I want to be right about where that is and shooting straight across towards the right-hand side. And if I can orient myself, I would like to have the 
ram that is closest to the center of the photograph in one portion of the image, and then the ram that is up and behind him also in the image, kind of a stereotype thing. So that's kind of what's going through my mind, and I begin to climb up this moderate hill towards that downed tree you see over there on the left-hand side. Of course, it takes me a little bit of time to get up there because I'm not so agile. I think the bighorn sheep were laughing because it took them maybe two seconds to get up that hill, and it took me a good 10 minutes to get up there. But nonetheless, this is what we do. And once I got up there, I started to size up the situation, and I saw that I was able to get the two sheep in the image like I wanted, but the light wasn't right. The light was not hitting the sheep yet. It was still hitting the side of the hill, like you can see in this overview image here. So by creeping up and down the hill, I'm able to position myself so that I get both the ram that is in the front and the ram that was behind is also in the picture. But of course, they're both not looking at the camera at the same time. That would be a little bit more than I could expect. So as I began to size up the situation, I knew that I wanted to wait until the light started to hit the side of the ram so that it would light up the side of the horns and give a little bit of highlights to the picture. You can see in this picture it's just starting to hit the side of the mountain. So it's starting to come around from the backside of the mountain. Now the light has begun to move a little bit and it's lighting up the trees in the background and I just wanted to see what that looked like so I took a picture from a little higher up on the hill and was able to show the trees in the background but I really didn't like the fact that the road was showing in the very bottom corner of this image. And now the light has started to move, so I moved back down even with the two rams, and I point my camera directly straight across towards the rams, and I try and orient everything so that the background is nothing but the mountain. It does not include any of that bright sky, and I take my image now that the light is hitting the ram's horns and their back, and we're able to come away with this image that we finally created. Now, there's no big science involved here. A lot of it is just looking at the scene and making personal decisions about what you want and how you want it to look. Now, during the time that I was taking these pictures, which maybe came up to 45 minutes total, there was maybe 25 or 30 people who stopped on the side of the road and took pictures and then got back in their car and left. And I was the only one that climbed up the mountain and tried to get an image that I would be happy with. And I think this is something that anybody can do. If you just take a little bit of time, you can create something that's really nice. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you would, please give us that thumbs up icon or that like a -roo, as I like to call it. If you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to consider subscribing. We've got a lot more content coming in the coming weeks. And we thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye. Now if I can just get down this hill without the sheep waking up and coming and headbutting me all the way to the bottom of the hill faster than I want to get there.